Hello little sprouts. We're going to find out a little bit more about pumpkins. This is a science book and the title is From Seed to Pumpkin and it was written by Wendy Pfeffer. In this book she shares some true or non-fiction information about pumpkins with us. Let's find out some more about these awesome plants. When spring winds warm the earth, a farmer plants hundreds of pumpkin seeds. Every pumpkin seed can become a baby pumpkin plant. Underground, covered with dark, moist soil, the baby plants begin to grow. These are baby pumpkin plants. As the plants get bigger, the seeds crack open. Stems sprout up. Roots dig down. Inside the roots are tubes. Water travels up these tubes the way juice goes up a straw. Plants need water, so these are like little straws going into the earth to bring them water. In less than two weeks from planting time, green shoots poke up through the earth. These shoots will grow into tiny seedlings. Two leaves, called seed leaves, uncurl on each stem. They reach up towards the sun. Here are the seed leaves right here. See? One, two. Sunlight gives these leaves energy to make food. Like us, plants need food to grow. But green plants do not eat food as we do. Their leaves make it. To make food, plants need light, water, and air. Leaves catch the sunlight. Roots soak up rainwater, and little openings in the leaves let air in. Using energy from the sun, the leaves mix the air with water from the soil to make sugar. This feeds the plant. So each plant is like a tiny food factory. They don't have to go to the grocery store and get food like we do. They can make their own food. Soon, broad prickly leaves with jagged edges unfold on the stems. The seeds leaves dry up. Now the new leaves make food for the pumpkin plant. These used to be the seed leaves, but they're no longer needed because now the pumpkin plant has these much larger leaves to soak up even more sunshine. Each pumpkin stem has many sets of tubes. One tube in each set takes water from the soil up to the leaves so they can make sugar. The other tube in each set sends food back down so the pumpkin can grow. The days grow warmer. The farmer tends the pumpkin patch to keep weeds out. Weeds take water from the soil. Pumpkin plants need that water to grow. That is why it's very important you take weeds out of your garden or your lawn. They use up all the water. Pumpkin plants don't stand up tall. As the stems grow longer, they sprawl all over the ground. Before long, Twisted, tangled vines cover the pumpkin patch. Soon, flower buds appear on the vines. After each bud opens, its orange petals grow bigger and bigger. They look like bright orange umbrellas. These are the blossoms of a pumpkin plant. During the heat of the day, the flowers close. They open again during the cool nights and early mornings. The bright orange flowers attract swarms of bees. The bees buzz about, carrying yellow pollen from the male flowers to the female flowers. Now pumpkins can grow. Bees are an important part. They must pollinate the flowers. The petals wither away. Wither means that they dry up and kind of shrivel away. Where the flowers bloomed, tiny, hard fruits begin to grow. Hundreds of these cling to the vines. The days grow hot. 
All summer, the warm sun and the cool rain help the tiny fruits grow bigger and larger. Do you see how they're getting bigger? It keeps saying fruits. Did you know pumpkins were a fruit? There are special fruits called a gourd. Soon summer is over. The corn stalks next to the pumpkin patch turn brown. Leaves on trees turn red, orange, and yellow. Pumpkins change color too. As they ripen, they change from green to yellow, then to orange. In just four months, small, flat, white pumpkin seeds have grown into big, fat, orange pumpkins. The pumpkins are ripe and round, with lumps and bumps. They come in all sizes and shapes, and they're waiting in the autumn sun. Some pumpkins will be carved into jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween. Some will be baked into pumpkin pies for Thanksgiving. Colorful leaves turn brown. Winter winds begin to blow and soon the trees are bare. The farmer looks out over the pumpkin patch where only a few dead vines remain. But when spring winds warm the earth, once again he will plant hundreds of pumpkin seeds and once again they will grow from seed to pumpkin. Friends, that taught us a lot of information about the growth cycle of a pumpkin. What is your favorite thing to do with pumpkins? Do you like to make jack-o'-lanterns? Pumpkin pie? Pumpkin bread? What else could you do with a pumpkin?